All right, in this video, let's move on to the next concept in view, which is slots. A few videos ago, we learned about props, which allow you to reuse components by passing in different data. All the props are great for reusability. We do have a strict parent-child relationship. The child will always be in control of the HTML content and the parent can only pass in different data values. Slots, on the other hand, are more powerful. Similar to props, they allow you to reuse a component, but they allow the parent component to control the content inside the child component. In other words, slots allow a parent component to embed any content in a child component, including HTML elements. Let's understand its syntax and usage with an example. We are starting off fresh with an empty template and data object in the app component. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. I'm going to call this card.view. Within the file, I'm going to use the vbase CSS snippet to add some template code. Let's name this component as card. As you might have already guessed, we are trying to create a card component which is a pretty common UI element when building web applications. It's a component that's reused quite a bit in any project. For our card component, I'm going to begin by adding a class on the div tag called card. Within the div tag, I'll simply add some text. Card content. In the CSS, I'm going to paste some styles for this card class. And that is pretty much our card component. Let's include it in app component. In the script block, import card from components slash card.view and add it to the components list. Next, bind it to the template. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, we should see the card component being displayed. Now this is great, but we want the content to be dynamic. So let's pass in a prop instead of having the static text inside the div tag. In card.view, add the props option and specify a prop called content. Bind the same to the template instead of the static text. In the app component, we can now pass in the content prop. Let me make a copy of the card component and pass in the content prop, card content one, card content two. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see both the cards with different content. Now this is great, but we do have a strict parent-child relationship. At the moment, I can pass in a string to the card component and that will get rendered. But what if I wanted to pass in an h2 tag? Or what if I wanted the card content to be an image instead of a simple text string? This is where slots come into picture. Let's understand how to use slots. Begin by getting rid of the prop we have just added. Now, inside the div tag, we add a slot tag. In the parent component, remove the prop and instead add a closing tag for the card component. Now, in between the opening and closing tags, we can specify any content we want to and it would replace the slot tags in the child component. For our first card, let me add some simple text. Card content. For the second card, let me wrap the same content with an h2 tag. 
And for the third card, let me add an image as the card content. The source is going to be from Pixum. And the image is going to be 200 by 200. If you save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that we still have the styles that reflect a card, but the content inside is controlled by the parent component. To reiterate, view will take the content in between the opening and closing tags of the card component and substitute it in place of the slot tags, be it a text, a heading, or even an image. Now it's also possible to specify a default slot content if the parent component does not specify any. So in card.view, in between the slot tags, I can add default content and in the app component, add another card at the top, but this time without any content in between the opening and closing tags. If we take a look at the browser, the default content is rendered. This is pretty much the basic usage of slots. As you can see, slots give you greater control in terms of reusing and composing new components in Vue. Now we do have a few more details about slots, so let's talk about them next. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.